What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So what just dropped in front of me today was the team associated rival MT-10. It's a 110 scale, four x four truck. Now, this comes with two different options. This comes with a, a charger and a LiPo as a combo for $349.99, or you can get it without the LiPo and the uh, battery charger. So for $299. Now, speaking of those prices and everything, um, got you covered as far as if you guys, uh, you know, kind of like a buy now. We use Klarna, so you can do it as a payment option as well. And when it's interest free, so you just pay it off in the time that is allotted. Say, like, for instance, here, let's go ahead and just check it out. So uh, let's go to details here. We're going to go with the 299 one for right now. So it's already going to kind of show you what your, your monthly payment would be. No fees, and you can learn more. Four, inst uh, four installments of 75 bucks, and that's it, right? So you can learn a little bit more. You can get, uh, you know, see how it all kind of works, its terms and conditions, all that. So that's nice. I like that Klarna does that and breaks it all down for you. Simple, and you just use Klarna at checkout. Now, for instance, if it's a little bit more expensive, you know, there are other options where you can go for like six months or 12 months, depending on the expense of that vehicle. So we'll go ahead and just check out this one too. I think it's going to be the same thing as far as, yeah. So they're going to do it where it's going to be, um, you know, four payments of $87.50. So not too bad. Uh, so that's going to be quick on that one. just want to let you guys know in regards to that because I've had quite a few people ask me about how the Klarna thing works and to get pre-qualified depending on the vehicle, the amount of them and stuff like that too. So um, going forward right now, let's get into the vehicle itself, right? So I got some pictures here too that we can kind of look at and they're a little bit larger than what I can blow up onto my uh, website. But let's go ahead. First of all, uh, let me go back one because I really like this paint scheme. This is what caught my eye. I was like, wow, that thing looks really good. It's got LEDs up in the front of it. I like the colors. Obviously, that's whole team associated. I like those colors that they use. Nice and vibrant. Um, now, when it comes to you know the shocks, or, uh, the shocks are plastic bodied, and they are adjustable on that part of it. And you do have adjustments as far as for your body height. Anyhow, you got a receiver case that's there, which is a little uh, body clip that's on there to hold that down. So uh, I don't know what the kilogram is on the servo, but as far as the uh, electronic speed controller, it's just a 60 amp, and then the motor itself is, just, is a 32, I'm sorry, it's a 3300 kV motor, and it's brushless. So yeah, there's the LED lights that are in there. Nice, even got a little bit of shock protector, um, those uh, shock protectors, yeah. So those are, I like those, I like seeing those, I mean, especially for the rear when you're kicking up rocks and everything else that can get in the way and damage your shock, so I like that part of it. Just have sway bars in it as well, and as far as the drive shafts go, they're just plastic, and I've had, I have plastic ones on my other team associated, and they hold up well. So it just depends, sometimes it depends on just the plastics alone, if they're too brittle or whatever. So we'll see how this one handles. Anyhow, adjustable wheelie bar, nice, turnbuckles are steel. So that way you can do some adjustments so they're not just one of those like it is what it is. This, at least this one you can make some adjustments on it. Um, looking overall as far as the layout, again, they're showing a 4500 um, milliamp LiPo in here. But I believe it's just going to be a 3300 milliamp. It'd be nice if it was a little bit larger battery in there or 5000 would be nice. That's kind of like the sweet spot, I think, for a battery. For most cases, you get a nice run time, 5000 milliamp. Um, there's a little bit of extra room here tubbed out for, I mean, it's like a 550 motor roughly anyway. So I would, you know, you could go a little bit bigger, but, uh, nonetheless, uh, it can handle two or three S LiPo. Now, if this is probably exactly same electronic speed controller and motor, I have the uh, DB10 and honestly, two S is nice and it's not bad. You're kind of pushing the limits on the small 3300 kV motor, especially on a on a four-wheel drive. Really, if you're going to be doing off-roading, or you're going to be doing a lot of stop and go and doing speed runs and back and forth, back and forth, you're probably going to want to stick with um, a 2S LiPo. You know, especially if you're off-roading and what have you too, like in the grass, you're going to run it. You're going to want to run it on a 2S LiPo. Uh, but for you know, see, let's see how fast this thing goes and whatever, let it rip. You know, 3S maybe put a fan on there too. Check the temperatures on the motor so that way you don't overheat that thing or maybe you have to gear it down or something like that. But that's I'm just kind of guessing right now, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the same exact setup. I guarantee it's the same setup that I have in my other one. And it why it works pretty good, it's just um, I think it's a little bit over the top with a 3S LiPo in there. But I could be wrong, but 
I think it just by the temperatures and stuff like that. <clears throat> anyway, on and off switch that's in there. So it's got a decent size um, bumper on the front of it too. At least if you hit something, it's got the, the little oval shock absorber. So that's good on that part of it. And again, that wheelie bar, we can see it better there. And I like the overview that they have for it. So I did put some pictures in the, in the website too for these because I didn't have them all out at that point. Again, I like the Velcro straps. Nice because it just gives you fl more flexibility when it comes to different battery heights and sizes. So I'm liking that. So anyway, uh, yeah, so you can see this as far as suspension arms, all that good stuff. Uh, the tire compound, I'm not 100% sure, you know, as far as I don't have one. They're just brand new. I did see it like a little ballooning going on in the video, which, you know, that's kind of happened sometimes as far as with these uh, tires. But... Um, you know, you can always switch them out, whatever. I mean, I hate to switch tires out of brand new. But for the most part, it wasn't super ballooning or anything like that. It's just that, well, you know, you know how it is. You want them to be kind of cushiony because when they're bashing, you don't want them to be rock hard as far as the tires on there. You want them to absorb a lot of that impact and stuff like that too. So we'll see how this vehicle turns out. But as of right now, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. Like, yeah, that looks really cool or, you know, maybe not your cup of tea, but... Nonetheless, I'm going to be getting one of these things for sure. So I was like, oh, yeah, I, I want one. So since they're going to come out next month, it's all good. Next next month's budget spent. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll put the links down in the bottom if you guys want to get one of these. But until next time, catch you on the next video. You guys take care, and thank you again for watching. Later.